Guess what Alphabet's been doing? He's been sleep sleep Maria. Alphabet and Maria have been going together in the He's trying to get her pregnant. I found out that they've been sleeping together, as in Booyah and an Avenge, it's Alphabet and Maria, and Alphabet's been trying to get Maria pregnant. Um Today's video is gonna be interesting. <laughs> oh, and by the way, guys, uh, please subscribe to this YouTube channel if you'd love YouTube videos. <laughs> I would appreciate that. Let's get into this one. Hello, everyone, I'm Alex, and welcome back to another video. We're in for a treat today. Uh, this video is in defense of Alphaba, and I know it may look like it pains me to say that, but what I have seen over the internet over the last few days is nothing short of completely and absolutely insane. Alphaba was friends with this other TikToker called Evil Queen, and they used to do like live battles, and they had a lot of drama with each other. They were always fighting, which is normal for anybody who Alphaba collabs with. It just seems to be kind of how it goes. Well, Evil Queen has come out and said that she's no longer friends of Alphaba anymore and has released this video. Guess what Alphaba's been doing? Oh, come on, what's he been doing? He's been sliss Maria. <laughs> now I'm gonna have to like mute words in this because it just like is insane. But um the alleged interaction that's taken place between Alphaba and her mum, in my opinion, is clearly a lie. It's clearly a lie. You can't trust these people. And what I'm seeing is that people just want to believe this, okay? And it's weird. There is plenty of stuff that you can criticize Alpha before. We've got a list. We've got stuff coming up in this video about her, like, basically being weird about a pride parade. You know, there are things where you can be like, oh, that behavior is not good. But this is unnecessary and is just insane. Evil Queen basically just alleges that there's something taking place between Alphaba and her mum, and then is just going on as many live streams on TikTok as humanly possible and sharing that information around. Now, I'm not really interested in whether you do like Alphaba, you don't like Alphaba. That is just a mental thing to do to somebody. It's crazy that this person hasn't been banned off TikTok for this. Like, I do not know how this person hasn't had their accounts removed. Like, how can you go around saying stuff like this? It's just straight up, like, libelous and insane and just get away with it. Like, it's one thing Evil Queen going around and being a massive troll. That's, like, her thing. Um, I know, it's sad. But it's the comments, man. Like, like, people are on, like, full, like, tin hat conspiracy theory mode. Why else does Maria ask, when are we gonna do it? Or it's been four days and we haven't done it. Just gonna listen closely. Well, I think they're talking about flour that, that goes, goes up, up the, the nose. nose. I believe this. Whereas Alphaba's response, you'd believe if I told you the sky was green. You'd believe that, wouldn't you? You would. The meltdown is going to be massive. Like, and a laughing, crying emoji. Why are people taking so much pride in this? Like, I understand being like, this shouldn't be allowed on TikTok, this person is a danger to people, I get that. But like, this is not the way to get back at that person, okay? You hold them, like, accountable, but you don't go around saying stuff like this, that's just insane. Like, this whole thing is mental, this is a mental thing to say about somebody. I'm half and half on this. The reason why I'm against this accusation is because Elphaba and Maria argue too much, but also, it sounds like something they do though, does it? Like, what, because Alphaba's weird, okay? Alphaba's strange, yeah, we know Alphaba's strange. But, like, why is this believable? Coming from somebody who calls themselves Evil Queen and does live streams on TikTok for the majority of their spare time. It's pathetic. Oh, do you know who my number one source for news is? It's somebody who goes live on TikTok as a job. You guys are, like, some of the most gullible people in this comment section. It's crazy that these people actually exist. We've got, like, some responses from Alphaba, so we will play those. I can't wait to see what is going to be said. I'm entitled to my decision and I choose not to be friends with Evil Queen anymore, which means I will not be talking about Evil Queen on my live stream out of respect. Um, if she continues to talk about me on her live stream, then that's on her and then you see but I won't be talking about her on my live stream anymore. I love that. Out of respect. There's like no respect here. I don't know if you guys have been watching what I've been watching, but there is no respect here. Like, this is crazy. This TikTok live drama is like the most insane stuff I've ever seen. And, you know, I've seen an alien before. I have, I swear. This is weirder than that. This is weirder than seeing an alien, I'd say. I, hypothetically, if I saw an alien, it would probably be doing TikTok live in a week. And it wouldn't look out of place. It would be one of the more normal people on there. 
I'm terribly sorry to Evil Queen, it's just the things you've done in the past to me and seeing you in the voice notes and saying like, oh you don't be friends with me, you've signed your death warrant, metaphorically speaking. I just feel like you've got me all this stuff, these clothes, these things, to boost yourself because the things you've done in the past have been unforgivable and now you're doing this for your patients people seem to have forgotten all the things you've done in the past as well. Look, I haven't forgotten what Evil Queen's done in the past. I just don't know who they are. Like, who are these people on TikTok Live? I don't know who they are. I don't know what they've done because nobody really actually cares about them. And unfortunately, Alphaba, that also does go for you. Like, look at this. Alphaba and EQ are no longer friends in like caps. Like it's the end of the world. Like I think there wasn't as much like coverage that was like this over the Baltimore Bridge thing that happened last night. I think this, this is bigger news for people. What do you mean Alphaba and EQ, two TikTok live streamers and no longer friends? Although I say that as I make a video on it. So am I part of the problem? Yes, I am. No, I just find it amusing because I find it amusing that this carries on playing out and in all honesty, it makes me feel better about my life. If I'm being real, can we take a minute to be real right now? Subscribe. That wasn't very real of me. That was just opportunistic. So you, you used me as a scapegoat and clickbaited me by buying me stuff, I think. Yeah, Evil Queen used you and you used Evil Queen. It was a mutual using. Like, you guys are not friends. You guys didn't get on. And if you type in content for these people, it's just them fighting and saying horrible stuff about each other on live. That's what they do. But Elfman knew that, like, if she was friends with Evil Queen, she'd probably stop, like, saying all the crazy stuff she says. Didn't really work. And Elphaba could give Evil Queen clout. That's cool. Get me some clout, baby. On the TikTok lives. Get me some, uh, get me some universes or whatever. Um mentally ill people do on their weekends. You know, that's what they were doing. It was a mutual using. In that voice note, it sounded like she was going back to her act. And I just, that's what did it for me. And I was like, I don't want to. I was warned about her in real life by a lot of people. But, so I'm sorry, I'm not involved. It's so funny watching two of the most terrible people you know trying to out-moral each other. That's TikTok Live! Get watching, everybody! I love when, like, the TikTok ads come on the TV, and it's like, Share moments with your family! Sing funny songs! La -la 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 -la. I mean, it's like, in reality, it's just two people who are refusing to get a job going, No, you're, you're silly, and you're dumb, and I don't like you, and you're dumb, and I don't like you either. That's TikTok Live. I want to focus on my real good friends who are with me, like Demia, all my other friends, real good friends. Everybody believes you got loads of friends when you say, all of my friends, like I named one of them, but all of my friends. Um, not that that's relevant, I just wanted to point that out. But um, yeah, it gets like weirder. So uh, Elfba did another response, which uh, I'm sure you guys are all like, oh God, I, I really want to see this. So we'll watch that, okay, for you. Thank you, Ruth Starling. My favorite bit. Thank you so much, Roots, darling. Thank you. Roots, this isn't... You shine like a star, no. <laughs> you're sending me so many gifts, Mom. <laughs> Thank you. Roots, you were right about her. I won't lie. Oh, so Alphabet and Chelsea Lee Art, who were at war with each other, they're friends now. Oh, that's how this works. Um, you get rid of one nut job and you bring in another one. Just keep on coming through the door. How many nut jobs can we get in here, baby? How many nut jobs can you cover the door? Uh, l let's see. I love TikTok Live. Uh, the top comment is, not the arse licking. Yeah, that's just all these people do. And then they share the clout back around, and then they fall out again, and then they become friends again, and they send each other gifts, and it just keeps on going and going and going and going. It's really quite sad. Anyway, let's see what Evil Queen had to say about Alphaba, um in detail, because she was like undercover spy being her friend, um, which is cool, by the way. That's what cool people do. I don't know how old Evil Queen is, but she's too old to be doing that get a job yeah she was literally like you know infiltrated by evil queen oh absolutely yeah we'll have all the behind the scenes uh, i went undercover <laughs> oh, are you like some form of spy is that what's going on here are you some type of spy creature this reminds me of like when Gollum was crawling around mordor you know why are you there Gollum? do you have other things you could be doing i went undercover love yep I've been undercover. A personal favourite event of mine <laughs> was when I got up to perform in Liverpool in front of everybody. 
I was particularly proud of that. Do you know what's normal? When you've got someone like Elphaba, who's like kind of weird and um, clearly has like issues, it's normal as a person to befriend that person who's got issues and uh, make them dance around like a puppet. That's what normal people would do. Like I already complained about when I saw people like being weird with Elphaba when I had my unfortunate run-in with her existence. Like this is another level of that because it's just like in your face. It's like, yeah, I'm a freak who meets up with people and like puppeteers them for TikTok fame. You need to be locked away. Like, I can't believe these people roam the street. They shouldn't be allowed to roam the street. These people shouldn't be allowed in society. They shouldn't be allowed to go to shops and hang out with other people and be in your vicinity. I don't feel safe. I don't feel safe because of these people. She was going back to her act. And I just, <laughs> that's what did it for me. And I'm very proud of myself, to be honest, do you know what I mean? Like, I managed to get Elphaba uh, into, <laughs> into a friendship with me. <laughs> and then, yeah. On my I went singing in the car the very first night we met. That was another, another favourite of mine. I sh and the outfits, <laughs> the outfits were funny as well, and <laughs> with, <laughs> with those big still boots. <laughs> oh yes, love. How does somebody end up like this? That's what I don't understand. Like, I can understand how Elphaba has ended up how she is. But how can you be Elphaba adjacent? Like, how can you be... Like, Elphaba, we know Elphaba is. Elphaba's got notoriety in her own way. But imagine being, like, second, third person down in Elphaba lore. Wouldn't you just want to, like, give up on everything? Like, if I was famous because I had to go, Do you know who Elphaba is? Well, no, I don't criticize her. For, I don't. No, I. I tried to be friends with her, and then I went. And then I went live with her on TikTok, and then I'm. But I'm like, and I, we were friends when we're not really friends. Imagine that explaining that as like what you do. That's crazy to me. Well, it's a, a short one for today in terms of this video because honestly, there's not really much content to cover. Um, it's just really kind of weird. I'm so confused by, by absolutely everything that I have seen today, and uh, I don't know what to say about any of it. Um, but hey, that's TikTok Live. This is the TikTok Live show that's going on. I much prefer talking about um, JoJo and her bobos and a cool car. That was enjoyable for me, because, you know, that's funny. I get to go, haha, look at that silly car. But this is like, oh, these people um, need to be sent away. Thank you for watching, everybody. And I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye.